tell you what, if he finds Bobby Ingram like he did at the end of last year, they're going to be talking about Kerry Collins. Hey, he's on a five-game win streak, but if you remember back to last year, he wasn't the starter for this opening game between these two teams last year, but he proved himself to be worthy of the starting position tonight. Take it away, Paul. Garrison Harmon is getting set to get us underway, and we are. A high end-over-end kick that Mike Archie says is all mine. He'll take it at the 9. The 15, the 20. They'll get out to about the 28-yard line where Penn State will put it in play. First and 10 from there, Kerry Collins getting set to bring out the offense. Watch this is out. Freddie Scott in motion. Second down and 10. The draw is given to Kerry. Cuts it back through the middle. Gets about five. Third down and five. Kerry Collins back to throw. Has a man. It's Kyle Brady. It's going to be very close to the first down. We'll have to take a look at That brings up second down and 10 for the Nittany Lions. This is Carter again. Has a block and has a hole. He's across the 40, the 45, and across midfield. And into Golden Go for territory at the 48 yard line. He is dragged down from the. Hardings and Whitman. Hardings. Whitman. Kick him out of there. Get him out of there. Whitman just takes out a linebacker. Kajana Carter. You got to buy a dinner for everybody. Well, first and 10, Nittany Lions. First penetration into Golden Gopher territory. And Collins throws out in the flat to Freddie Scott. It's complete. Picks up about Freddie five. Scott coming seven. all the way across the field. Gary Collins straight back to throw. Has a man, and it's Ingram. His forward progress will give him the first the down. Pattern and popper sequence with the quarterback. This is Whitman straight up the middle. Breaks a couple of tackles. Gets inside the 20. Did not want that to happen again. This is Carter. Around the right side. Cuts it back. Across the 20. Inside the 20 to the 17. 10 at the 14. Play fake. Ingram is There's held, Collins. and that is an interference. Absolutely. He He's holding on to him from behind. He knew that he had lost him to the inside. First and goal for the Lions. Give to Carter in the sweep left. He has a touchdown if he wants it. And he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Nitty Lions. Gives the ball right to the official. And every time he gets in there, you're supposed to expect like you're always there. It's not a new experience. And Penn State goes out in front six. And gets his foot into it. That'll be early at the 2, the 10, the 15, has the 20, the 30, the 40. He is across midfield, the 35, the 30, and Conway makes the tackle. Third down and one, Minnesota. They go double tight. Eckers drops the football, and I think Penn State's on top of it. Yes, they are. That is Jeff Perry with the football. And exactly what Minnesota did all of last year, self-destructing. They had a great opportunity. to everybody involved. This is ridiculous. He just scored a touchdown. This is ridiculous. I was gone. I'll, you just you keep opening up those holes and I'll just keep taking it for touchdowns. And, uh, you know, Guys like uh, Greeley and you know they, they just they love to see their running backs get over 100 Three yards. The fifth defensive back. Eckers with the lay handoff gives it to Dark and Starkins has some room across the left side across the 40 to the field blocking for the Golden Gophers. Penn State looks to be rushing just three on this play as they drop everybody back in the secondary. Eckers pumps once, throws again across the middle, picked up Penn State. Unbelievable. That is Cliff Dingle with the interception off the tip ball. And once again, Johnny Carter is watching the action. He's already has 219 yards. Collins back to pass. Rifles one to Brady at the 49. Gerald Pilardi. Brad Pentel is the is the snapper. Big high punt. Fair catch signal for it, but it's way over his head and into the end zone. Darkens Joe alone setback as Scott Eckers, the quarterback, wags his head. Deep hand off again to Darkens running to the outside. They're finding the corner. He's at the 35. He's at the 40 and down to the 43 yard line. Darkens in motion. There is nobody back there. So De Eckers on a three step drop. Looks, 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 looks. Throws incomplete at the 50 yard line. Good coverage by Kim Herring. Hubbard. Hubbard's uh, kick will be taken by Ingram at the 20. He's at the 25. The 30 almost spins loose, but it's finally not over. this time. A wide receiver each way. Fake Ingram. to Whitman. Fake to Carter. Look. Throw to Ingram. Complete at the, the 30 right at this time. And here's a fake to the right. Rolling to the right is Kerry Collins. He has the option to run and set throws. Complete to Scott at the 45. Really, the fullback is offset a little bit that's, to the that, left. That's an offset chief for blocking. There's a give to Carter to the right. Gets to the outside. Gets the first down inside the 40. To the right. to the Kyle Brady is tight end left. 
Collins back to pass. Throws. It's complete to Angram at the 26-yard line. Split. And Mike Archie is the tailback. Drop the pass. Got There's it. downfield to Scott. He's got a touchdown. A beautiful touch. That was a checkoff, I believe. But again, the jamming on a line of scrimmage. Engram was the primary guy going in. We said we felt they had to get Scott involved in the passing game. One-on-one. -on -one, and Scott that time, beautiful little fade pattern right up the sidelines. And Collins threw it first. Five wide receivers. Three left, two right, and back to pass goes Eckers. A three-man rush for Penn State. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. Penn State. It's a good snap. Penn State has a return on. It's a wobbly kick to the right away from Engram. But Engram feels it on the short hop, goes to the far sideline, reverses his field, comes to the near sideline, 30, 35, and bang, down he goes and at the It looks like Freddie Scott in the flanker position. There's a give to Carter. He breaks to the right. He's at the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50. He may go the distance. They'll not catch Kajana Carter. Penn State touchdown on a 62-yard scamper. Penn State scamper. territory. Minnesota with the ball, trying to get a, another First down if they can get it, and Shade is back to pass. He throws complete at the 40-yard line. Fourth down lineman for Penn State. The linebackers are very tight, as is the hero. They give to Darkens. He's coming wide. Will he get it? the first down? Yes, at the 35. All right, they have a tight end and a wing, and he goes in motion. And they give to Darkens on a counter play. He runs to the right and can't get motion. anywhere. No backs in the backfield. Shade looking, looking, straight back to pass. Three-man rush for, for Penn State. Throws in the end zone, incomplete. Good coverage down there by Penn State. He had nobody Actually kicking open. it. I don't quite understand this. Down 28 to nothing. But he wants to give him some encouragement, yeah. I guess. Stahlberg's right. kick is up. And it's good. The field goal for Minnesota. And we have Archie and Herring deep for Penn State. Mike Archie at the 10. He's at the 15. He's at the 20. He's at the 25. First and down by Carter. Penn State in a... A uh, split back set, throw over the middle, and once again, Freddie Scott was yeah, interfered with. Penn State now in a split back set. Kerry Collins gives to Mike Archie, bounces to the outside. He's at the 45, he's at the 50, has the a blocker, first down. Yeah. It's Penn a State team. in a pro eye this time. Fake to the tailback, long pass downfield for Scott. He's got it at the 10, it's down at the 4. Is the tailback behind two big pullbacks, and they roll out right with Kerry Collins showing in the end zone. Is it complete? Keith Olsimer for the touchdown. Well, they, they two tight ends that time. No backs. Straight back to pass. Shade throws. It's complete at the 39-yard line. Out of it's Ryan Hubbard. He's a redshirt freshman from Jensen Beach, Florida. High punt. Engram at the 20, the 25, the 30. Spins to the 35. Still on his feet to the 30. He's sort of out of it. But I'd go for some more points, and they are. Fake to Kajana Carter. Throw over the middle. Complete to Phil Collins at the 47-yard line in Minnesota. Penn State in an eye formation. Chris Camel in motion left to right. Deep hand off to Carter. Carter comes to the corner. He's inside the 42-minute drill. It's a pass because the two-point stance. There's a middle screen to Brady. Not really Scott a screen. Carter the tailback. Scott the flanker. Engram the wide receiver. There's a pass downfield for Scott. Scott's at the 10. Out of bounds at the 10-yard line. They go without a huddle. Same play. Roll out right by Collins. Throwing. Complete to Scott. Puts a pivot. Can't get to the yeah. sideline and is knocked down at the 18-yard line by Juan Hunter. And the ball is loose. The ball is loose and Minnesota's Hunter came up with it. Darkens alone uh, setback. Trips meaning three wide receivers to the right. There's a handoff straight ahead to Darkens. Darkens into the middle of the line before Ben Stewart. Half. With the score, Penn State 35, Minnesota 3. Back after this. On the Penn State Sports Network. Receivers are right this time. The lone setback Darkens goes in motion from right to left. Tim Shade, the, the quarterback, bobs his head, takes the drop. He's got a blitz. He's nailed by Killens and Smith. The quarterback are first right blitz by Penn State of the whole game. They've been only rushing three people with the most four. Killens comes from the outside, and Smith comes right up the gut. The split is Engram. The flanker is Scott. Kerry Collins is the quarterback. Whitman and Kajana Carter in the backfield. Carter has a hole. It's a 25 to 30 to 35, 37 yards. Set line. in the backfield with John Whitman, the near back, fullback, and Kajana Carter, the tailback. Play action fake to Carter. Throws complete to Angram at the 50. He's at the 40. He's downfield to the 30 and out of bounds at the 25. What a move he put on. And there's a pitch to Carter. Carter has a block on the right side. Gets to the corner. He's at the 25 and almost Two wide it. receiver set with the back split. Fake to Whitman. Throw over the middle. Caught by Ingram. Touchdown. What a grab. My God. What a grab. How did he catch the ball? I don't know how he caught that ball because there was a, a defender on his outside, and a, defender. a defender on his inside. 
It was a great throw, and he only it was only out of the hands of the two defenders. Amazing throw and an amazing catch, and the in the noise of the Metrodome has not wow. been a factor here, folks. So Mr. Shade is looking at two wide receivers each way and a flexed tight end to the right. Chuck Rijos goes in motion from the right slot, and Shade is straight back to pass, looking at a three-man rush. They got the hand in the face. Good job by Jeff Perry. Just took the tackle and, and it pushed him right back in the quarterback's face because you got your your whole offensive line. Two-point stance for Minnesota's front line, so you know they're going to pass block. Here's Shade being sacked back at the 18-yard line. Again, a three-man rush, and it was Todd Atkins this time. Yeah, they, they, they are lining defensively. I got the first, the, the outside one. You got the, the slot. I got the third Regardless one. Regardless of who it is. They don't care how they, they, right. they interchange, and it's working very well. Okay, we have the nickel package now because we have third down. Wally Richardson gets the uh, nod. As the quarterback in this series of downs for Penn State, I say Big Wayne Holmes, the 330-pounder from Silver Spring, Maryland, in there at a an offensive tackle. Off the play action, back to passes Richardson, throws a curl to Juravicious at the sideline, and he has a first down at the Minnesota 47-yard right. line. Campbell and Phil Collins, the uh, the wide receivers. Uh, Give fake to Pitts. Give up the middle to Bruce Brian Milne. A great fake by Richardson. Milne rambles across the 40, inside the 35, inside the 30, 25 to the 22. Wally Richardson play action fake. Looks, throws. It's complete to Chris Campbell at the 20, but his knee was down at the 37-yard field goal attempt from the near hash mark by Brett Conway. With Phil Collins in to put the ball on the AstroTurf. The snap, the set, the kick. It's a boomer, and it's no good. He has to play some of these kids. No they, setbacks, five wide receivers, straight back to pass goes Sauter. Sauter has the pass. Mike Archie Dump. back in a single safety to receive the punt from uh, Minnesota. High wobbly spiral. Archie is racing to catch it at the 40. He makes the catch at the 45, the 50. He's in Minnesota territory at the 42. And it's I'll a line drive punt, but that had a little hang time on it. I, you know, it was, they missed the tackle on it. Osterman was the man, as you called. Yeah. It was a good crack back block by Killers. Boy, he dumped that guy right on his derriere. Oh, it becomes the split end left. There's a pitch to Stephen Pitts. He's got a hole, bursts through the, into the secondary and gets a slot where he becomes a receiver. He's one of the better pass receivers on the squad. Straight back to pass Richardson, throws to Archie, completed the 26-yard oh, against the Minnesota Gophers. So he had roughing the passer yeah. on Wally Richardson, and I didn't watch him after he the television ball. monitor right in front of us. Oh. Back, though, I give to Mike Archie, up the middle, the 10, the 5. What a move, touchdown, Penn State. Oh, my. That's what you call a quick pop. Oh, my. That's a quick pop. Team in there now, number one unit. He's, he's alternating them. Like George said, they only brought so many players. Yeah. Three wide receivers right. Sutter, fakes. Spot pass. What a super block on Clint Holes as the man is loose on the right side. Goes down the right. Souter straight back to pass. There's a look in over the middle. That's that center. No setbacks. Souter, same play over the middle. This time intended for 2 2 at quarterback. He's played uh, a good share of this second half. And he's straight back to pass on the drop. He's throwing deep oh. for Chris Campbell. He's got him at the 50. Campbell looks back. Keep running, Chris. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Down to the 4. Nice throw. That's now that's that's what they want from Wally Richardson. That's exactly what kept him from getting a touchdown. He gave him a nice stiff one at the end and got down to about the three yard line. Terrence Blaine was the guy who caught him, and I really think he'd have beat him if he put his head into the wind and just, just kept let going. Just go and pin his ears back. But again, the you know, left wing position. The gift to Milne. Milne lowers his head, takes tacklers with him, is right up against the goal line. No signal yet, so he did not get in. Justin O'Connor and uh, Bobby Stevenson in at tight end. Jason Slode is now in at the fullback position with Pitts. And again, Fletcher on the wing. Slode gets the call. Touchdown, Jason Slode. A uh, red shirt freshman fullback followed the, the block. Quarterback Souter sends his tail back in motion and drops straight back to Paris. There's that middle screen again. But this time, Penn State's played it very nicely. It was flexed to the left. Straight back to pass goes Sauter. Big rush by Penn State, and down he goes as Chris Snyder. Sacks and of course, they're going to make an effort. Five wide receivers. Big rush by Penn State. Scioli's got him. He has to throw it away. Good rush by Scioli. Another and also freshman is the tight end. There's a pitch to Ambrose Fletcher. He cuts up field at the 40, the 45, and has the first down. Very dominant motion now. 
And there's a give to the fullback, Jason Slow, and he manhandles some people. Clock up runs free. Woodson makes the final catch of the ball game, and the two squads shaking hands. The coaches looking for each other, Jim Wacker and, and Joe Paterno out having a word. I don't know what you say. It's a difficult circumstance. Well, but I know Joe has a great deal of respect and admiration for Jim Wacker and vice versa. When Joe won the coach of the year one year, Wacker went, uh, I think, for the one double A. That's and correct. He's a very, you know, great uh, Christian guy and uh, whatever, and, and they're very good friends. But, you know, you're professionals. You understand. You got outclassed tonight. It's the final that. score, Penn State 56, Minnesota 3. More after this word from your local station. This is the Penn State Sports Network. <laughs> 